Welcome back to Oxenfree. We're at the Discovery Cliffs and we are on our way to Main Street to find the key to the Adler Estate. But in the meantime, we got some things that we've never seen before to look at along the way. Including this building. Oh, I can't go inside. This data command annex, as it had been dubbed, was used during the base's early years as the communication nerve center for outside military installations. It was also the primary office of Marianne Bozek, a civilian who developed communications protection through the invention of the famed wall system. A type of radio frequency identification, wall, standing for wave-assisted lock, assigned each person who was stationed at Fort Milner a call sign through which they could use their portable two-wave radios to unlock prescribed doors and gates. Though the mechanics are considered outmoded today, the island still uses this security method to honor its rich history. This hmm. Each person got their own call sign. I wonder if that's the call signs that we're hearing when we listen to the, uh, the cairns, the transmissions at the, the cairns, because each one starts with a call sign. I think it's usually like a letter and a number, or a number and a letter, something like that. So what's down here? Oh wait, this is the way I originally went to get down to the beach, isn't it? I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's right, I came here and I never went to the right, I only went down. So that's why I never saw any of that stuff. So, it's the Parks and Facilities building. That's down a bit, right? If I'm remembering the right building, I don't think it's far. Yeah, we're... we're close. up there what? what are you doing are you uh, oh clarissa. oh on the light alex christ what's wrong with her clarissa can you can you hear me alex do you know what's happening is she is she gonna be okay oh god not again uh, i hate when this happens alex uh, please can you just i don't know what you can do but can you just do something please just try anything like uh clarissa you think you can control me? Clarissa. I, what? I, I, no, I, I'm not trying. No, you're not trying. You're not trying at all. You haven't changed. Not a bit. But you're a fine girl. We're not trying? What about you? What have you done? You get stuck in Milner, you ask for our help. What have I done? I've sacrificed. I've made immense, bottomless sacrifices. When you're off, the little machine has no more heart than a brain. No more heart. Is she okay? Or she's... I think so. Oh, Clarissa, are you okay? You scared the crap out of us. I'm fine. I can... I'm fine. Okay. Are you sure? Cause that didn't look great. Do you remember anything that happened? I remember... waiting in Fort Milner... and seeing you. That was a while ago. How did I get here? You don't remember how you got here? The usual answer to any question tonight has been, I have no idea, and sorry to say, but this is no different. So, you're just blank? No, I remember something. I remember you, with that radio. And I remember feeling like you were the reason all of this was happening. Wait, it's Clarissa's turn already? Hmm? Yeah, it's my turn. What do you mean, it's Clarissa's turn already? 
I haven't even asked one question. Everyone's asking me. I get to do the asking now. Oh, guys, okay, I know you think we're still playing truth or slap or whatever, but this isn't real, so- Well, wait. Clarissa hasn't gotten a chance to ask something yet, so- Yeah, and you, of all people, should know what my question is gonna be, cause I'm not gonna waste it. Alex, what did you do? Explain why me and my best friend, and your idiot best friend, and your new- <gasps> Look, when we went into the cave, we found a thing, and I used the radio to somehow tune it in, and- I think it jump-started everything. I see. I'm sorry, okay? I'm... I'm sorry. Jonas, now you're seeing who you're stuck to until graduation. Clarissa, seriously, I can vouch for this. This isn't her it fault. It has to be her fault. Of course it's her fault. There's no other way this story goes. She creates chaos. She's a storm chaser. <sighs> okay, Clarissa, come on. I said I was sorry. You don't have to pile on. Pile on? No, come on, Clarissa. Let's not do this right You're now. You're gonna learn, Jonas. I swear to God. The town looks at her like she has a red letter tattooed on her freaking Clarissa. forehead. And the giant, lit up, Christmas tree reason why is that Michael is dead because of her. Because of her. Like, do you understand who you're living with? It would take a very sick person to see it that way, and I would love to hear the explanation. Michael was gonna leave town. He was free. He was out of here until this one convinced him to take her swimming for one last God knows what. And he drowned. He drowned in Horn Lake while this one could barely flap her arms. Clarissa. Ugh, she is a pox, Jonas. It doesn't make it my fault. Anyone could have been there, anyone, and then they would have had to watch him die, you unbelievable prick. Anyone wouldn't have watched him die, Alex. Anyone else would have done something. Okay, I'm sorry, but enough. Clarissa, that's enough. It's too much right now. I can't, I can't believe, ugh. She's- Seriously, enough. Nona, it was- Awful, all right? It, it's still awful, and, and I... I don't. Just, Alex, this is none of my business, okay? None. But we came here to do a thing, and that thing is going to get us home. So let's get home. No. Uh, Clarissa, what are you... All the outs in free. Hey. Whoa. Man, do you ever... Do you ever get deja vu? Jeez, I just got a serious thing of goosebumps from one. Boy. Uh, I guess you don't remember, like, anything that just happened, right? Um, to what anything are you referring, exactly? Uh, Clarissa being possessed and shrieking at me would probably be the big kahuna here. I, huh, I sort of can picture Clarissa being, like, weird or something, but I don't know, it's kind of a blur, to be honest. Okay, well, the office that we gotta try to get into is, like, Right there. So, let's try and whatever our way in. Okay, well, I feel like I have a lot of things to talk about. We're gonna try- we're gonna try to get into the office thing, right? To get the key? <laughs> it's so cute the way they said that. Yeah, um... Okay, let's go back to the, the very first thing. When we first encountered uh, Clarissa on top of the light. So it's like we were trying to tune into them like the others that were possessed. Except this time, it's like we were interrupted. Right? We didn't complete the triangle of triangles. And then something demonic and sort of evil seemed to take over for a little bit and then somehow went away. So I think that's the other thing, the bad thing. Those seem to be the two kind of competing things that we keep encountering. Is what I feel like anyway. Secondly, I guess it explains why Clarissa uh, has been acting like that towards us, I guess, all along. They've blamed Alex for Michael's death. And the third thing is that it's interesting that the people around Alex don't seem to remember the things as well as Alex does. It seems like they remember it a little bit. I mean, Nona said that I can sort of picture Clarissa being sort of weird. And I remember back in, uh, where was it exactly? I think it was in the Tohi Woods when we were stuck in that loop around the time of the, the soccer ball thing. And we kept going back and forth with Jonas. Remember, Jonas didn't know that we were in a loop for a while. But after, I don't know, two or three or four loops, then Jonas kind of realized it. So the people around Alex can tell that something's wrong, but it seems to take them longer. They don't remember as much as Alex does. And I was thinking, maybe that means Alex is somehow special in some way compared to the others, but I don't know if that's it. Because remember when we first encountered, I guess pretty much everybody, but I guess Nona was probably the best example of that. When we first encountered Nona after we had all been separated, 
remember Nona was like you've uh, like I it sounded like Nona had seen a, a bad version of Alex like a demonic or a possessed version of Alex or a reflection or something that said bad things and Nona didn't want us to come near they're like get the hell away from me that would be something I, I think that might be a similar thing that happens with us us seeing all this bad stuff the other people don't remember I think that might have been the same thing happening with Nona and it probably happened with all the others too or maybe from their perspective they've seen all sorts of stuff that I don't remember so it might not be that Alex is, is special it might be that it just happens for everybody in different ways okay they're not there anymore Alex, want to try and get the key for the gate? You know, the reason we're here? Yep, this isn't budging. Um, I don't know about that. I think, yeah, I think we can just bust our way through, honestly. The lock looks pretty worn. I don't get enough breaking down doors in my life, really, so I'm not going to complain. <sighs> Teamwork. Cross your fingers and hold your thumbs. Hey, know what kind of jet that is? Nope. Cool. Carry on. <laughs> uh, I think here's something. It's another pocket radio, I think. But it's like there's way more stations on the dial. Yes! I called it! Remember a couple episodes or so ago, we came across something that, like, I couldn't reach down in frequency enough to get to it, and I thought, hmm, maybe we'll come across, like, an upgraded radio or something. What do you know? Ooh, neato. Here's another one. It says, they're wall radios, wave-assisted lock. Ah. Whatever that means. Oh, duh. It says right here that each frequency is like a key to open the doors around here. So they're like ID tags or something. It must work for the gate to Adler's house too. Oh, cool. Uh, okay, cool, great. Ooh, wait, wait, here's like a, wait, what is this? Personal effects of Margaret Dorothy Adler. Why would her stuff be here? Didn't her family, or, like, hasn't her family been carting her things back to town? No, we can start back. I just wanna... Okay, here. To... Wait, what? Huh. That's weird. <laughs> Nona started speaking and then I just opened the map. I wasn't the one who opened it. Steal a boat and leave. Okay. Whom it should concern. This island and its history is a lie. Jeez, she didn't have fond memories of this place, did she? What? What could that mean? I have been compelled by both forces outside of my control and my own willful concern for the safety of others to conceal the many truths about Edwards Island. But now I feel any further inaction may carry a far greater risk. Many truths? Shh. Inside you'll find two wall-equipped radios. I have commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1 and used it to relay clues to the nearby beacons buried throughout the area. Find these beacons and the notes within, and discover the true chronicle of the island. Oh, scavenger hunt! Oh, scavenger hunt! Scavenger hunt! <laughs> wait, wait. To whosoever finds the material, know that I'm discomfited in keeping it hidden and ashamed for the lies I helped preserve. But also know that I acted in what I felt were the best interests for all at the time. And truly, for the interest of time itself, Margaret Adler. Oh, <laughs> I've had, oh, I've seriously had like dreams about this. Finding a secret, digging it up, it turning out to be a mechanical unicorn. Yeah, we've all had the mechanical unicorn dream. But I think I'm ready just to go home, to be totally face up with you. Yeah, fair enough. This is super cool though. Hold on, I didn't want to leave because I did not look at, oh. I think there was like a little interaction thing on, on this thing here, but it's... It's gone now. Yeah, they're all gone now. Oh well. I guess it was important. So... Hmm, sounds different too. Alpha. November. Tango. India. Quebec. Uniform. Echo. Eventually. So that's the clue station. Everything becomes a 
Alpha, November, Tango, India, Quebec, Uniform, Echo, eventually. Everything becomes an antique, eventually? I believe that's what the, the letter spelled out. But yeah, that's the station that the letter said that Margaret had commandeered or something like that. So from 150... Yeah. From 50 to 150. Cool. Now, where was it exactly that I needed a lower frequency thing? Was it at the, um, the Catbird station, was it? Yeah, so I should be able to use this to unlock, like, the, uh, the vault door, the bomb shelter door that we saw just back there, and I guess the Catbird station, and who knows what else. Huh. I don't know if I've really spent much time down here. I think we were just kind of walking and talking when we were, we were back here. So I'm going to just check around here for any cairns or anything like that. Wait, what is this on the ground? As I was walking by it, I saw it. Yeah, you see it flashing there? Oh my god, the, the Kamaloa was destroyed by friendly fire? We, we've been lied to all this time. The USS Walter Roy... A destroyer escort sunk the USS Canaloa with friendly fire on October 25th, 1943. It had held a developmental nuclear reactor in its belly and had been sent out weeks earlier as a test of its capabilities. Relatively few even know of its existence, which tripled the base's confusion when the submarine's communications had been cut. No one outside of a handful of us would ever know the truth. I would discover later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the Canaloa. I don't know why, but it's strange to me. Wait, 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 what was that last part? We discovered later that a weapons technician of the Walter Roy had been at Francis Salter's wedding. Salter was an engineer on the Canaloa. Huh. I don't know the significance of that. Maybe it'll be more obvious later on, I think? I think there's more notes to find. Cuz... Yeah, there's a whole letters section. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of them to find. Oh, and this is the uh, the letter we just... Uh, Nona just read before. Cool, I wanted to reread this. Uh, specifically what they were talking about with the stations. Uh, so yeah, I commandeered the old Cardinal Station 140.1, which is what we just listened to with the everything is antique eventually or, or something like that i used it to relay clues to nearby beacons buried throughout the area clues clues relaying clues to beacons hmm. find these beacons and the notes within so how do what are these beacons look like? I mean, is this a beacon? Like, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here, to be honest. Almost looks like it's a gravestone right here. <laughs> I have no idea if that thing back there has anything to do with it. Is it related to the cairns? Are those the beacons? I've already been at those, though, and heard the transmissions and haven't found any notes. Hmm, I'm not quite sure, but it should be pretty obvious soon, because there's so many notes, I'm sure I can't, can't miss them too easily. Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like 75 degrees and the sun's out, you know? And I thought you said you were going to go swimming anyway. What? You bring a jacket, but you don't bring a swimsuit. Huh? I brought the jacket because I like the jacket. And I never said I wanted to go swimming. You just inferred it because I asked when the community pool opens. <laughs> I inferred it? Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? What? How? Why am I here? What, you don't want to hang out at the beach? 
There's stuff in town, but it's all boring knick-knack shops or whatever. No, I mean, in this time period. Ah, oh, geez, you're hitting the existential nostalgia trip already? I get it, Alex. I would have been happier in the 70s. The 70s? That's like the worst time. You're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the... Oh, the, the car? No, they don't... Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little. No, no, no. You... You, you drowned in, in Horn Lake back at home. Yeah, and last week I died in the fire, right? You keep having these nightmares because you eat Mom's cookies, like, right before bed. And anyways, I'm going to teach you how to swim at the pool in the park, so don't worry about it. Today turned out to be a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. I wanted to bring a kite, but thought you'd laugh at me. Uh, yeah. Um, it really is kind of ideal, actually. Yeah, I'm, like, right about to start sweating, but I'm not. No, it is perfect ice cream and tennis weather. That is rare. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... What's his face? Mr. Collins' English. Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> okay, I guess. So... Uh... <laughs> Do you... Well, I guess you don't remember anything, right? What am I meant to remember? I'm sorry, did I forget something? I'm bad with... Dates. Uh, forget it. It's all right. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close, and, like, I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Yeah, I, uh, totally understand. And, yeah, let's, uh, do stuff. You know. Cool, cool. Michael, uh, he loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and Alex let the frogs out in science class. Isn't she hilarious? Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. Actually, Clarissa and I had a nice chat while you were away. Kinda sorry to see you back so soon, to be honest. Oh, really? I'm sure Alex sold you on how I lock her in the basement and treat her like a shaved monkey. The version I heard was you trap her in the greenhouse. Yeah, well, it changes month to month. No, it was perfectly fine. Perfectly amicable. Amiable. It means the same thing. All right, sorry. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Nah, I'm good. Uh, yeah. Get me a drink, too? Sure. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? I've missed you, man. I... I've just missed you a lot, that's all. Hey, come on. I've missed you, too. And I know I've been hanging out with... Princess, but... It's a two-way thing. You can knock on my door. We live in the same house. We gotta bring back movie night, and board game night, <laughs> all the nights. Yeah, sure. And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so, but I owe you. Yeah, no problem. Just don't get all smoochy smooch while I'm in the general vicinity. <laughs> because that would ever happen. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? Stick with it. Stay with her. If she makes you happy, if she makes you laugh, who am I to say anything otherwise? Thank you. Good blessings, good tidings. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. <sighs> you know what, Bucko? I need it more than you. 
Paco? You haven't called me that in years. So that's Michael's jacket. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for 10 minutes. I was about to like slap you or scream or something. It's been not fun to watch in light of everything. I, uh, I, I don't know, what was I doing? Well, let's see, first you stopped walking, then you started spinning, slowly, like a dying top. And then you were talking about sandwiches, like in your sleep. I thought honestly I was watching your brain melt. Not fun. I haven't been talking about stupid sandwiches. Haven't you realized that I was gone for however long? I went through... It, it was one of those time loop things. Time loop thing? Really? You didn't leave. We've been here the whole time, both of us. Well, you more physically than mentally, I guess. But other than that, I really don't know what to tell you. I don't remember being here at all. I, I haven't been here. I, I don't know how else to say it. All right, well, can you just, like, maybe tell me what happened? What'd you see? What was it like? And what happened, basically? It was a day I can remember, actually, when Michael and I spent a random Saturday on the beach here. It was just unbelievable to see him again. Uh, are you doing okay? Something like that. I don't know if I'd like it. No, it was... It was good to see him. I'm treating it like a, a temporary gift. That's all. Okay. Yeah, there's another letter on the ground here. So these letters weren't here before, right? I mean, I can't imagine that I just missed literally every single one of them. No way. So why are they just suddenly appearing now? I mean, I have to give the game some credit and assume they didn't just make them appear for no reason. You know, I mean, as far as like an explanation for why they're there. Because that would just be pretty silly, so... <laughs> What's the alternative explanation? <laughs> Is Adler's ghost spreading these letters around on the trail so that I can find them? I'm not sure. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine. There's a similar statue of a soldier in Maine where I grew up. My memory of it is, I think, part of the reason why I said yes when the army recruited me out of college, despite my family's protestations. Anna, my closest friend from childhood, was of course thrilled at the possibility of my escape. I anonymously started the petition in 1975 to have this one made, after the daughter of Canaloa crewman Francis Salter asked, I don't know why. Uh, a marker, maybe, for the hope I once had to help people. So, do those letters only start shining when you get near them? If so, then I'm gonna have to make sure I walk everywhere again, I guess? So this won't be any different, right? How, how many of you are- No, that's the same. Why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways, are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to uh, do the whole thing. But it worked out so great. Some... <sighs> Weird stuff happened along the way, but, I mean, I guess whatever, that's the new normal now. Weird stuff? And we can't find Clarissa, so... she pretty much got transmogrified to someplace else. It's sad that any of those words make any sense to me, Time but... Time looped away? Yeah, should we maybe look for her, possibly? Even if the boat plan works, we shouldn't leave her here. Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. 
And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? So are you gonna try the gate thing, or...? I guess the radio will open this, somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Here we go. Cool. Oh, wow. Neat. <sighs> Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Please have a boat. Jeff. There's a boat? Jesus, that house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. <sighs> yeah. Uh, cool. Whoops, I didn't reply in time. I was too busy looking at the huge house. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.